everyone. It's finally time to do the room tour. As a lot of you know, I moved from an apartment to a house and I now have two rooms to display my Sonic collection. Before we go up there, I just wanna say thank you to some people. First off, my wife, my mother, and my friends who helped me through this journey, um, especially my friends for helping me move arcade machines up two flights of stairs, which I thought for sure they would not do. Um, thank you, especially to you guys and the Sonic Collectors Group, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of you guys have given me some great ideas, especially Barry, AKA Sonic1992. I wanna say a special thank you to him as well. After I saw his room out in Houston last year, I got a ton of great ideas and he's helped me a lot as well. So if you guys are ready, let's get to it. Starting off here at the top of the stairs, the first thing you see is the skateboards. You got uh, the Finesse, you got the Sanrio, and you got the Sonic Generations of Skate runner up board, as well as the tech deck surrounding them. Finesse has been doing a great job putting out these boards. We're getting, we got a Neo Metal Sonic up there along with uh, two Sonics and regular Metal Sonic. Down there we got Knuckles and Shadow. We got a Mephilus one coming and there's also a few others like Tails and Silver. The tech decks are slowly coming out. There's four up there and then there's Silver which I actually just picked up on the day of filming this video. And there's also a three pack deal guys, you guys will see later. A lot of you really like that um, Sonic Gen Generations of Skateboard. It's uh, signed by Tony Hawk and there's only I think two or three of them made. And that Sanrio one, if you guys remember, was an exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con 2016. Try to get a wide shot there. I don't even know where to begin. Let's just close the door and begin over there. Here on the back of the door, we have a Sonic 3D Blast poster. And over here, some Sonic party supplies as well as some Sonic clocks. Here's one thing everybody loves, the Sega Saturn kiosk. Got the best Sonic game ever going right there. Inside there we got my Sega Saturn. There's a Sega Pico and a Sega Master System wired into it. Behind there there's a Tower of Power. There's a Sega CD behind there too. Continuing on we have this Sonic Underground display from Denny's. And I've been wanting to get that out of storage forever. A lot of you guys may remember the Sonic with the guitar up there, but now it's back on its display. I fixed it up a little. I just got to fix the wiring and stuff to uh, make it light up and make the guitar move again. But this is definitely one of my favorite pieces in my collection. I never had the knuckles that went down there. Some, somebody ripped it off before I got it. And there's a little sign that goes here that says uh, $3.99 each that I got to find somewhere in storage still. Got the uncut Cracker Jack prizes up there. This thing was definitely the hardest out of all of them to get up the stairs, just because of how long it is on both sides. We ended up having to stand it up on this side, halfway up the stairs. It doesn't work or anything, but it has some beautiful art. Sonic has blue arms. Everybody likes to point that out. It's a flyer for the um, Sega Sonic Space arcade machine up there that dispensed keychains. That light cover with no light, and there's my first Sonic item ever right there. Issue number 19. Got some animation cells there. Tails smoking, tails cross-dressing. I do still have my plushes on these plastic chains. I know a lot of you guys said before that you really didn't like that. And I agree, I don't really like it either. I wanna try the idea that I was given um, of using a net. But for now, just for the sake of time constraints, I left them on the chains. Got some of the new Jack Specific plushes over here. Can't wait for that Mighty plush. Only a couple more months, hopefully. Over here we have some original art. Got Tracy Yardley art up there. Nelson Ortega. Pins. Everybody loves pins. Totakus.
Here's a couple other things that everybody seems to love. The Sonic Coca-Cola display. It was originally part of a larger display, as you can see with that piece in the back behind him there. He's holding, <clears throat> he's holding the Sega Genesis controller and he's drinking a Coke. Definitely a unique render. And then we have the Sonic 2 Reservation standee from Toys R Us with the incredibly fat tails. And a copy of Sonic 2, 2 down there signed by Duncan Gutteridge who actually designed the, the box art. And in there I actually have some official Toys R Us receipts from the early 90s. When I bought my Sega CD at a yard sale it had a storage box that it's currently sitting on top of still that had a whole bunch of receipts for the systems and games in there. Put them in there. We got another sign with no light behind it up there. And then we have the big filled up display case. Got some first four figures on each shelf. Got a little Sonic Mania display going on down here with the pogs, the um, map thing back there, the collector's edition, the pins. That tornado diorama is probably my favorite first four figure so far. Another one of my favorite items there, the Sega World Sydney Snow Globe. I talk about that thing all the time. A lot of people were really angry at me for pouring out that John soda. But I didn't want to risk it leaking. A lot of people said I devalued it by doing that, but if I if it leaks all over the inside of this thing and devalues everything, it's a lot worse. Anybody remember fidget spinners? Got the uh, Saturday morning cartoon DVD box set back there, signed by Jim Cummings and Charlie Adler. They played Dr. Robotnik and Snively. Over here we have some 90s Sonic toys from Tomy, as well as a bunch of other stuff. More Tracy Yardley original art. Got the shoes down there from Anapone. Got the Sonic slippers. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys this. This is art that other collectors have sent me when we traded or I bought something, whatever. I like to keep this and put it in places around the room, but here's the start of it. Got Mach 5 Museum, Will Medved down there at the bottom, Toysaurus Games, Sailor Chi Chi, Barry Harmon from Sega Bits, Peter Robinson, and my Sonic collection from Instagram. Got the Megatron Sega Genesis up there that a lot of people really like. Of course, the pizza cutter, we have to have that front and center. These Boom 8 figures are amazing. If you guys haven't seen them in person, their pictures and videos don't do them justice. They're really cool.
Here we have a Sega Genesis game display case that I remember seeing in Target, but I found this one on Craigslist. It's got a bunch of various uh, items in there, hanging on pegs, because the whole back is pegboard. Got the Robotnik Eggman first four figure down there, as well as the uh, Sega World Sydney plush based off the Saturday Adventures of Tonic the Hedgehog cartoon. That one's a very rare one. Really wish they would have produced more of more of those. Got some socks hanging here on the edge of the closet. Of course, I took the closet doors off. Going above the closet, we got the Sonic Mania soundtrack, and we got a print by Scott Shaw for one of the for a collector con that he did. Going inside the closet here, where I definitely need to get a, a light, we have a bunch more random Sonic items, as well as a Steve Urkel plush. Who talks? Got some DVDs and VHSs. Got the style book from 1994, which is one of my favorite items. Sonic 3 McDonald's display, I know all you guys remember that. I always love this uh, Formula One Elaine Pro stuff. Got a helmet and we got a little figure with the model car there and of course the RTC Industries hat for that was made for the people that uh, the team that created the Sega Genesis kiosks back in the day got the Sonic the Fighters plushes over here everybody always loved, loves those poor old Metal Sonic over there who if not taken care of properly will straight up fall apart There's the 3D Sonic 1 display, which did not come with the pull my finger sign. A lot of people think that, but I actually added that. Over there we have the Sonic SpaghettiOs um, merchandiser kit. Another one of my favorite items because I remember the SpaghettiOs from when I was a kid. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember the video of me opening the can and eating them back in, I think it was like 2015. Only 14 years expired. Some Sonic Underground merch up here and we actually have a storyboard for one of the episodes featuring Manic. I really, w I really wish Manic would come back in some form. I loved Manic. It was funny because he looked like weed. Another one of my newer items that's becoming one of my favorites is this swim bag. You would uh, put all your wet clothes after you go swimming and kind of tie it up. It's made of rubber and uh, it's got Sonic drowning on the front. You can see the countdown right there and it actually reached one which means he is going to drown. Which is kind of funny to put on a kid's swim bag. It's like a bad, some bad juju right there. Here in the middle of the room we have the clothing rack. This was the last thing I've been working on. I wasn't sure if I want to do it or not because of how much space it takes up. But the cool thing is that it's on wheels. So if I want to walk in this area, film in this area, I can move it over there. If I want to play Sega Saturn, I can pull it back this way. So I, it's a great way to display Sonic clothes too, obviously, because, you know, closet is for that stuff. And all these wouldn't fit in that closet anyway. I'm not going to go around the whole thing. I'm not going to show each individual shirt, but I'll just kind of give you the gist of it. So it starts over here, actually. So you got the earliest Sonic clothes here, like the Letterman jacket, 
sweepstake shirt. Show you some of my favorites. The scrubs with its really unique art. Tails with the broken arm and uh, where is it? Tails getting x-rayed and stuff like that. Love unique renders like that. All this stuff is 1994. And then you got the F1 Sega Team shirt. Sonic popping champagne. There's even some non-Sonic stuff mixed in here. Like this Garfield Cotton the Axe shirt. I love that game as a kid. So when I saw the shirt, I had to get it. The LPGA shirt worn by some of the the competitors. Sonic the Fires t-shirt. A lot of people love this for obvious reasons. Got Sega World Sydney employee shirt. Everybody loves selling merchandise. And this is probably my favorite piece of clothing I own, the Sonic Lab coat that I've shown in many videos from Epcot. Then it switches over here to hats. Same thing, starts with uh, Sonic 3, works its way back. 1994, Sonic and Knuckles. Sega World, Sega World. Got a bunch of Spencer's hats. And then you have, this is another new item, which is uh, some Sonic sandals from Next. I don't know if I want to keep these here or not, I just put them here because I thought they were funny. Got little spikes in the back too. And then it starts with the uh, more modern Sonic clothes. Got Sonic X here. A lot of these shirts came from either Hot Topic, uh, a lot are from Sears, JCPenney. Got a Sonic bathrobe here that I got from FYE back in the day for 10 bucks. Oh yeah, that's what this was. Sonic Dash. IDW shirt from Spencer's. A lot of you might remember that one. Here's another one I love that's not really Sonic. Sega Ta Sanchido. Got that at Sega Fest 2019. Team Sonic Racing shirt that has my name on the back. Who doesn't love Froggy? Got some, some more kids clothes here. This isn't kids. And of course back here we have some of the newest stuff that's been released. And the modern hats. I love this one. I really like this one too. You don't see that many hats with uh, just Amy. That's pretty cool. Froggy hat, because everybody loves Froggy. One more thing left that I'm gonna show you in this room, and that's the Sega train. This is a model train based off the KQ Blue Sky Rail Line. It was wrapped with Sonic and Puyo Puyo back in 2016 for the 25th anniversary. That was one thing I really wanted to do before I did the video was get a power pack for the middle. So this thing would actually be running around in circles, but whatever. This is another item that pictures and videos just don't do justice because this thing is beautiful. I would like to put something in the middle here too, maybe a tie rack or something like that. And this is also one of the times in this room where the rule gets broken of classic Sonic and modern Sonic being in separate rooms. This is this whole clothing rack basically, because you got the modern clothes here and then uh, obviously the train is modern Sonic. So let's move on to the modern room. We'll start on this side. 
We have the Dreamcast Sonic Adventure era over here with the Dreamcast kiosk, my favorite Sonic item, the Hollywood video poster, and the Sonic Spinner machine. I'm leaving that off for now because it's very loud. It plays the Twinkle Part theme and it doesn't stop, so there's no way I could have it on while doing this video. Got the Dreamcast scale right there, which is from uh, Anapon and Akihabara. And up there we have the part for the unreleased Gamma toy from the canceled Sonic Adventure Burger King line. Up there we have another piece of art from my friend Sean here on Instagram. Agent Double O Sonic. Got a lot of Sonic Adventure merch over here. Man, I forgot how loud that Dreamcast was. Just turn that off. So, Sonic Adventure merch. Got the poster over here from Cook and Becker. That's a great poster. Got the vinyl up there, some the SpaghettiOs cans, and of course the slot machine, Sonic Live. As you can see on the side here, we have the snowboard that was a prize for the uh, Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games contest, giveaway, whatever. This box of Sonic Adventure chocolates is still full. Maybe one day I'll open and eat one of those on YouTube and see how that goes. Got all the Joyride figures down there as well as some uh, Toy Island figures and the Sonic Adventure style book. Another one of my favorite items. <clears throat> Got the Sonic Adventure Amy and Chaos plushes up there. Couple more store displays. We got Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and Sonic Heroes Counter displays. I would like to eventually complete the set of glasses. Still need four more of them. Got the 10th anniversary merch there. Got the wine glass and the ring. That big figure down there is signed by Kyle Hebert, the voice actor. We have some more of the McDonald's displays. We've got the Sonic X promo and the Sonic Heroes promo. Kind of see they have a 3D effect to them there. Here's the other tech decks that I mentioned earlier. Take a step back here so you guys can see the Sonic figures fully. Up there we have the Resource Sonic Adventure line, Toy Island, the Bendies. Then we have all the Toy Island Sonic X figures. Have the regular, the extra figures with accessories, the Chaos Emeralds, Megabot. Space Fighters. I also have the Mega Force or Metal Force Wave, but I don't have that displayed. There's a lot of Sonic stuff. Probably should have mentioned this at the beginning, but there's a lot of stuff that I still do not have displayed. Um, like that clothing rack in there. None of the clothes that I actually wear normally are hanging on that rack. Those are all in my closet. Uh, but there's still like boxes and boxes full of stuff that I just haven't, I don't have room for. And under my bed, there's tons of posters and store, you know, st GameStop posters and stuff like that. Over here, you guys saw the Sonic Monopoly games. Got a lot of Jazzwares over here. As well as, uh, you'll start to notice some Jack Specific.
That's the original cover to Sonic Universe 75 by Patrick Thomas Parnell. Got the Sonic Forces Hooters posters there. That whole promotion, it was a riot. Sonic Cosplayer, there you go. Feel special. The top of this display case, we have some Puma shoes. The Dr. Eggman's and the RSXO. Those are the only two I have. I never got the Sonic, and I have yet to get the, the later R RXSOs. A couple of Diamond Select statues there next to the Macy's Parade Snow Globe, which I really love that too. And how about these figures from the Shinobi 7 Sonic Battle Racers game? These little miniatures, these are awesome. Not only do you have really cool characters like Omega, uh, Vector, Infinite, Super Sonic back there, Styx, Storm, but they're really well done. I definitely recommend that game for anybody that hasn't picked it up yet. Super Sonic, you can only get through the Kickstarter. we got my wedding cake or groom's cake topper front and center there if you guys notice on the sides here i had some shelf hangers for some european sonic game releases sonic colors sonic free riders <clears throat> mario and sonic olympics those are all from game over in the uk got the arby's toys up front here and then at the bottom here we got the subway toys These Joy Polo snacks, the cake and the cookies, those are still sealed as well. Before we move past the Sonic stuff here, I'm going to show you guys the middle of the room. I have this shelf. The shelf is all Sonic Boom. And on this side we have some plushes and some movie Sonic movie merchandise. Got the popcorn bucket there and we have the Baby Sonic keychain, Baby Sonic plush there at the bottom, some Sanrio, Fat Super Sonic. And on top here is my watch box, which you guys can check out the video on that that I uploaded, I think, last year. So moving on past the Sonic merchandise, we have, surrounding the closet here, we have my collection of Lord of the Rings figures. I have every US release Lord of the Rings figure except for one. I can get it on eBay, but uh, it's going to be so hard because I found all of them in stores, except for that one. But there's an empty spot up there for it for when I eventually do get it. Huge Lord of the Rings fan. I can't wait for the TV show that's coming out. I don't expect it to top the movies, but I'm hopeful that it'll at least be good. At the top of the closet here, we have some random figures that I've collected through the years. I don't like Funko Pops, but I have these. Um, so a lot of these are signed. Adventure Time, Dragon Ball, got Alita up there because I love Alita. A couple Breaking Bad toys. Toe Jam and Roll Kickstarter toys, those are always fun. Shin Constant Bento box. First thing I ate in that box, I took a huge bite and it was a Tuno Negri and I hate Tuna. Got a replica right there of the one ring to rule them all. That Red Dead collector's box is actually signed by um, three of the characters. The voices of John, Sadie, and Arthur. 
That's the uh, Toe Jam Emerald Back in the Groove Collector's Edition, or uh, Limited Run Games Edition. Really cool box there. Over here we have my Shinmu store display from, I think it was EB Games at the time. This thing's pretty huge. I got it signed by Lisa Wilkerson at um, Sega Fan Jam 2015. Beautiful piece though. I'm a huge Shinmu fan as you guys will, will see later. Over here I have all my Dragon Ball stuff and Dragon Ball is like my second my second most, uh, I guess, collected franchise after Sonic. I'm not really that big into the bigger figures, just uh, the little miniature ones. I get them at cons, I've uh, got a bunch in Japan, stuff like that. This one was signed by Chris Sabat, uh, 13 years apart signed by him twice 13 years apart and this one uh same thing but with eric Vale, the trunks voice actor i picked this up last year at a con it's a flying nimbus with with uh, goku and gohan and i always thought that gohan was pretty hilarious look how freaky that thing is good lord really like that oolong there with the panties on his head Freeze the toilet paper and freeze the trash can there. Two of, my, two of the strangest items I have. In this little shelf here, it's my little Shenmue display. Got the first four figure, We've got the Shenmue 3 steelbook from Best Buy, as well as the Kickstarter edition behind them, and the Limited Run Games edition as well. Those things there are from uh, the real, real world Yokosuka, the Wida Street. There were maps given out uh, to promote the game. To promote, I think it was around the time the Shinmu 3 Kickstarter took place. Got a little shelf of uh, Paramore items. I was a big fan of the band when I was younger. Got to meet them and everything, got some stuff signed. Down here we have my Pyramid Head figure with two uh, Silent Hill 3 and f Silent Hill 3 and 4 signed by Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, the singer for the games. So that's pretty much it. That's my two Sonic rooms. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any suggestions, comments, uh, ideas that you might want to give me, please do not hesitate to let me know in the comments. So thank you for watching. And as always, uh, like the video, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.